everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar today. Topic is Meet Minitab English. I'm Nau Salawati. I'm the technical support specialist at Visit System. Visit System is an independent and local representation of Minitab in Malaysia, Singapore and Batam, Indonesia. So before we get started, let you know. This one is a Minitab Engage is a separated product from the Minitab Statistics uh, software, but it will be uh, another product by the Minitab. So here is a, a few housekeeping item notes before we begin. We have a Q&A session after the presentation. So please submit any question you have and we, we will try to do our best to answer them. And if have a time, if no, we will answer afterwards by email. So we recommend viewing this webinar on your laptop or PC for the best result. Please fill up our survey before you exit the tab. Uh, this survey will help us to improve the quality of upcoming webinar. So this webinar we record uh, and upload to our website www.visit.com and our YouTube channel, Minitab Malaysia and Singapore. So there's no problem if you miss anything or want to review afterwards. So basic one is Minitab was developed in 1972. So today Minitab in market for 15 years. Uh, Minitab is not only have a Minitab certificate software, Minitab have a few product beside of the Minitab certificate software. There are um, uh, five another product is, first one here is a Minitab Connect. So Minitab Connect is something like for the data transformation and the dashboard. And then we have a software predictive modeler. Is this one is a for machine learning and predictive analytics. But now some of this algorithm inside the SPM available in the Minitab certificate software. And then we have something like quality training or we have a, a quality or we call it online training. See, and then consists of the few modules inside the Minitab trainer. It's like something like DOE regression, statistical inference, and so on. And then today, we our focus on the Minitab Engage. So Minitab Engage is something like for addition, execution project. And then Minitab Workspace is uh, for visualize tools uh, with template like VSM, uh, FME, and so on. So, but today we focus on the Minitab. Uh, engage. So within one hour, uh, we not enough time to demo all the features in Engage, but we try to demo how Engage works and hopefully you can consider uh, Engage will be another software you must have in order to make sure you work more productive and systematically. So if let's say you interest further, no further others product, feel free to contact us and we provide them more on that each product. So our agenda today we start with what is engaged. If uh, you are new one uh, with uh, the engage and then I will show available features in engage and then I will try to more how engage works. Uh, start with the ideation. And then we go for the execution or we show about the roadmap after this. And then we automate the reporting using the dashboard. So something like DMAIC, if let's say you are familiar with the define measurement, analysis, uh, improve and control. So every process of DMIC uh, needed to review by reviewer. Uh, like head of department or project manager or so on. So before them decided the process to another pace, for example, from the define to measure, they will use the workflow uh, available in the Minitech Engage. And then after uh, they want to go for the another uh, paces, something like measurement pace, maybe you can share or finish all the phases. You can share uh, your project 
uh, to others uh, top management okay using the uh, dashboard after this i always show how the uh, mini tech engage uh, works Okay, so we start with the what is um, engaged. I mean, it engaged is was built to help the organization drive innovation and improvement initiatives. So, uh, what makes a unit for this uh, mini tech engage? So, mini tech engage is a unit. Uh, is that this combined structure problem uh, solving methodology with the tools and dashboard to help you plan. Uh, execute and measure your innovation initiative. So you can see that we have a constructed uh, problem solving methodology, and then we have a tool inside the that uh, structure, and then we can show the dashboard to help you plan and execute and measure your innovation initiative. Okay, so basically, Engage is a break uh, from the company by Minitech. It will not totally new thing. Uh, for those already used the company, you are able to open all the file using the Minitech Engage, and we encourage you to upgrade into Minitech Engage to see the enhancement on this product. So now for the new version uh, available in other seven languages like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, French, German, and Spanish. So here are some uh, features are available in Engage. This is uh, something like before we go further for the Engage, we will need must clear part for this thing is the we call it the user roles in Minitech engage. Uh, basically, if let's say uh, we, we we use the Minitech certificate software, we have a user or we have a license uh, administration. But for the engage, we have another user. We call it the something like idea submitter, and then we have the user, and then we have admin, and then we have the data architecture. So I think. Uh, if let's say you subscribe only one, so one rows can uh, be our idea submitter, be our the user, be our admin, and then be our the data architecture. So have, uh, different user have different roles inside the Minitech Engage. So before you go further for this, you need to decide which this person is be our idea submitter. So if let's say idea submitter only can submit the ideas. So they're not able to see or contribute or run or execute the, uh, the project. And then uh, the idea submitter also not able to do customization on the dashboard or customization on the template and so on. So if let's say you go for the user, so you can able to lead or contribute the project, you can use the tools, uh, you can view the dashboard, and then you can access any project in the sub. Uh, the subsection. So maybe for the user, something like your engineer, and then maybe you your green belt, okay. And then for the admin side, is something like uh, is assessor or mentor or coach, only. So be a master black belt or black belt. And then for the data architecture, maybe can be uh, the IT person or IT department. So in the data architecture, actually they can uh, determine the data field. Uh, the the customization of the template itself, customization of the workflow or the methodology, and then you can create the public dashboard uh, report. So different uh, roles have a different uh, different user uh, have a different roles. Okay, so if you need to make sure uh, what user you you are maybe you are your idea submitter or you are user or you are admin. Okay, so might be clear before you get started for the engage okay so this one is uh, anyone now with the, the latest version anyone in your subdivision can submit the idea as now i show we have the idea submitter we have user admin and data architecture so if let's say you are sign as uh, the data architecture so mean that you also can submit the idea if let's say you have idea to do project initial uh, innovation or project improvement okay so now uh, idea form available on the web so you can submit anywhere or anytime 
And then we have another uh, features is something like to evaluate after you after you uh, drop your idea. Okay, maybe uh, be our agent or be our customer services. So you have an idea on that initiative, uh, quality initiative. So you drop the, your idea, maybe have your head department or something that one. So you need to evaluate, is it have a right time to run that uh, analysis or based on that uh, problem, is it have a benefit on that? So they have a something like, we call it the bubble plot here. They will help you to uh, snapshot of your conclusion about the ideas or something that one you will help you. So this one is something like is let's say you see here we have a quadrant. Okay, we have easy but risky, we have harder and risky, and then we had hard uh, but the low risk, and then easy and the low risk. So all these things are available for the user be other a steering committee, something like leadership or something that one, or coach or mentors for this case, okay? And then we have something like here, we try, okay, uh, compile all the methodology available in the Minitech Engage. So you have the DMI VE, you have a CDOVE, you have something like PDCA, you have like a Gamba, you have like DMACE, uh, you have a Kaizen project, or maybe you have something like 5S, you have a 8D report, something like you have a A3 report. So all this, uh, all this project or innovation, or we call it or improvement so available in the minute engage okay so inside the uh, something like dmf uh, dmaic okay here so you define every process have a tools okay so we call here is the roadmap roadmap is will guide you to run your project or execute the project so here also uh different uh, tools are available. So almost 90 uh, tools are available, pro uh, template uh, available in the military engage. Okay. And then in the engage also, they we notified uh, to review. Uh, this one is to, to keep your project on the track. For example, you are master black bag, you need to assess, assess or be a reviewer, to your engineer uh, task or so on, so on. So no worries, they, they will uh, notify you using the uh, email, okay, based on the email. So you can see that now you are who, what, what the next, uh, next step you need to do something at one, okay? So you can see here is a review board, okay? So every, every, person in this assign will get this uh, notification. If let's say you need to review the project, okay? And then uh, uh, another way is uh, something like all oh, the project is centralized, okay? So no need to see or no need to find out where is my file for this project. I put, I don't bring the my laptop and so on, no. So in the Minute Engage, they have uh, all the project safe in the cloud. Which, Base. So that's when it's centralized. So as long as you're in the subscription, you are able to assess that project. Okay. And then, of course, this one is uh, we want to look on this. Uh, okay. The data automatically rolls up into the dashboard. So for those are looking for dashboard, so Engage will be considered the best dashboard you want to show to your uh, or to your top management and so on. Okay, and then now uh, we can connect with the API, okay, make data available where, whenever it is needed, okay. So we'll, let's try in action with the mini tech engage, okay. So this, this one is a more technical part, okay. So uh, I will start with the Minitech Engage with the web version. As uh, let you know, Minitech Engage, we have a, do a desktop version and then we have a web version. Okay, but if let's say you access on the that desktop version, you're not able to have something like dashboard and so on. So all the dashboard in available on the web app version. 
So we start with the login, your, your, your email, okay, your subscription. Okay, I log in as a user, as the admin, and then as a data architecture. So different roles, you can view, uh, different viewing you can get. I'll always show after this, okay? So now I subscribe uh, or log in as the user, ID submitter. So once you log in the in the minute engage, so you are able to see here something like uh, welcome, a dear new idea means that you can drop your idea or be a idea submitter. You just click on the new idea, and then in the workflow you can see the how many idea you already submit for this year, and then how many project are, uh, active now, and then how many project is completed. And then you have a workflow here. So it's something like idea. Okay, so you can go for the idea and then you can get the uh, next stages is hopper. I will show after this and then go for the active and then copy. So let's see, I have an idea now. So I just go for the new idea. So since I have a web app version and then desktop version to submit the idea, I need to open the desktop version. Okay, for those not install the uh, desktop version, you are able to submit through the web version. Okay, so will they will bring us to the web version? Okay, so here. So for those are uh, have already used the camp. Companion, companion by mini tab. So you're not able to see the submit and review. For the new thing, you can able to see the submit and review. For example, here I have a new idea too. Okay. So the business unit uh, with the mini tab, my department is your QA. Okay. Maybe the location, maybe KL. And then I have a problem statement. Okay. Customer complaint, maybe. Okay. So maybe different different department have different problem statement and so on. And then you must fill out this uh, fill. Okay, you must be uh, something is a benefit is three, the effort is three, maybe the risk of the failure, maybe the two. Okay. Okay, so I'm satisfied with all this one. And then I submit to review. Okay. Okay, once you click the submit or review. So they will uh, mention about who is the owner. So I'm the, the owner of this project maybe, and then the steering committee. So Minitab Engage will assign the mini uh, the steering committee. So maybe steering committee, your coach, your head or something like one to evaluate this uh, uh, idea. So you click on the submit for a review. Okay. And then all this thing is uh, safe on the cloud version. And then you click save it. Okay, once you are uh, uh, sent to review, okay, so Minita Engage will assign the study community to review your idea. Okay, study committee will review idea. So who will be the steering community during the data architecture? We assign the steering committee. Steering committee is something like uh, the dos uh, have uh, uh, head of the department. You need to evaluate, and then you need to start the, the this project. Is it you need to assign the methodology? Something like PDS. Uh, this this idea is a for PDA, PDCA project or DMIC project or Kaizen project. So steering committee will de decide for this case. Okay, so I close it and then I will open the. I sign out and then I sign in as the steering committee. Okay.
Okay, so now you imagine I'm the other steering committee. Those are need to review the new I uh, new idea too. Okay, I need to review this uh, new idea. Uh, in the notification, they mention uh, the new idea submitted for review. So I go to this idea and then I go for the new idea too. Okay, so you can see that this one, I need to approve it. Okay, or reject. So if I say you would not satisfy with this idea, you can reject, but you need to have a reason to reject why it happened. Okay, and then I try to approve it. Okay, so I be at the steering committee just now for the uh, new idea too. So I just approve it and then approve. Okay, so after steering committee approve that, the, the idea will go to the hopper stages. Okay, in the hopper stages, you see to see the this evaluation. Okay, just now I will explain it. What is this one? And then you can see the new idea. Okay, so in this new idea, as a study committee, they mentioned to start a project, select a methodology, and then the owner of this project, and then the review board members. So be uh, the steering committee, you need to uh, have a something like you need to select the methodology, you need to, uh, you need to assign, assign the owner for this project, and then you need to review um, what members of this project before you, you click start project. Okay, so for example, yeah, I go for the edit and then I want to uh, assign uh, just now is a no, be uh, the uh, project leader okay project owner for this idea and then i will assign the i try with the basic methodology okay so i assign okay sarah is the be the coach or mentor and then we need to assign the phases or due date of this uh, project of the phase. Okay, for this methodology, we have a two phase. Uh, phase one is a plan and do, and then the phase two is a check and action. So for example, you do something like DMIC. So phase one is a define, phase two is a measure and so on. So you have a five phases. So for this case, I just proceed with the two phases. And then the review for this uh, phase is a, mentor or the coach of this one and then here is something like i just put the next two days and then this one is maybe next months and then save it okay so now as a steering committee and then i also be a review board and then uh, mini tab engage will uh, notify you through the email who are the who are the uh, steering committee who are the review board so the uh, mini tab will uh, I will open this one for example notify you using the uh, email Okay, for example here, just now as a study committee already uh, approved that idea and then uh, I'm the owner of the idea. So Minitech Engage will email to you who are the owner, who are the review, what next you need to do. Okay, so they, they will give it you something like you are receiving this notification because your idea was approved and moved to the hopper. So no further action is required. So here already uh, in the next stages is a hopper. So all the thing, uh, Minitech Engage will notify you uh, by email, okay? And then maybe here, you are study committee, you just start, start the project, okay? So once you start the project, this project, okay, sorry. So, okay, 
gonna refresh back like this. Take out this one is take out. Yeah, I will log out, sign out. Okay, I sign in back. Oh, sorry, this idea is a check up. Back it. So, read this. So, oh, we try back with the study with the idea submitted. Okay. okay, I will Okay, I'll go back to the hopper stages and then go back to the new idea. I will try again with the start to start this idea project. Okay, so now the idea two is proof to active project. So uh, the owner of the project, so you can see that here is the owner of the project is a no. We uh, need to run or execute the project. And then this one is the dimension about uh, how many days and then the phase due date and then the phase review and so on. So all these things are available. And for your information, all this you can customize. So for example, you the one is a phase review status. Maybe you have others uh, criteria so you can customize it. Okay, so here as a no, so I need to log out as the process owner. Log in as a process owner. Okay. Process owner of this project. Okay. So now this project is uh, be at the process owner or study committee or others one. The project now in the active uh, stages. Okay. So you can see that project in the active stages. So you see the project was start and is now uh, uh, active. So mean that the project two, you can go for the active phases and then you can find here. Okay, for example, here is the do. So you want to submit to review or you want to see or you want to assess that thing. So you just uh, click here. So we we'll open the uh, methodology. Minitech will Minitech engage will open that methodology. So in during you open the project, you are the process owner. Maybe you assign the, maybe you assign, or you insert the fishbowl. Maybe for this case, maybe you not this. Uh, you maybe insert the another process map, or you want to have something like uh insert the uh, five uh. 
Saipo or Mercedes one. Okay. Saipo, you can create all this one. Okay. So Abias that is a be the process owner. So you have a responsible on this. So you need to complete all this uh, template. And then after you done it, so you can submit or to review back to your review board just now. Okay. So you can see here in this one is active and then the blue dot. Uh, this one is uh, for the phase one, uh, plan and do. And then the mention not uh, to submit a re for review. And then in order to submit for review, you must include the required field. For this case, we need to include the annual life estimated hard serving. So all these uh, criteria in this management. Okay, so financial data set. So I need to include on this one before I need to submit for review. So I need to must include this cost. Okay, so for example, here I will try just only play around for this case. Okay, so I'll finish all this and then I can submit now. Okay, so all this require is a good one and then the mission who will be other reviewed uh, but for this case. Okay, so you can click the submit for review. Okay, so I need to log in as a Sarah or as, as a mentor to uh, approve of this uh, project, okay? So I close it, close for this case, and then I go to this one. I need to submit to as a Sarah, okay? To review, uh, to review that uh, project, okay? Or you can open the email. Okay, you can see in the email. So as a Sarah, they will see the pace review. Okay, so Military Engage will email the Sarah because the Sarah is the um, coach or mentor. You need to review for this idea. So if let's say you get the notification from the Military Engage and then you just click on the go to flow without need to log in or log out. I just show it how to do it, okay? So for this case, inactive, new idea too. And then you certify with this one, and then as a reviewable board, so you just put a proof. So if let's say you not want to reject, you must put uh, why you reject for this case, okay? And then approve it. So once you approve, okay? Once you approve, this project need to be another phase. So the this project still in the active one. Okay, so stay in the active uh, stages. If let's say you are finished all the phases, so the uh, this project will be go to the completed project. Okay, so for this case, I will log in back. Uh, the process owner, okay, and then I need to open and then review or add for the pages too, okay. Go so your your plan. Your project plan do the paste was put approved. Okay, so you go for this back to this back, and then you can see here. So you certify with this one without the open the project, or you want to open back the project, you can open it and then go for the pages to okay, check an action. Maybe you want to include some analysis or uh, some form, something like one. Okay, for example here. So you want to add another way, insert, maybe you want to add um, DOE. Okay, maybe DOE. And then it is capture. Okay, DOE. Okay. 
Okay, so if you're planning, you can recreate for this case. You add some sum to for every basis, and then you're satisfied with this one, you can go for the submit or to review. So for this case, no need here, and then submit for review. Okay, the same step just now. Okay. Mm. And then be Sara, you have another engage uh, workflow for this case for the action check to the action pages and then they will give it you uh, your approval is required for this check for action so I just pull, put here okay so I got this one okay and then you can open it here and then maybe you can uh, submit for this case okay so this one is a uh, how how the mini tech engage works okay with this works flow so as we are the sarah okay need to approve it so after sarah approve that project will be moved to the completed project okay so you can go for the action okay here we are the sarah review board so you just approve it so once you approve, okay, so once you approve, so now the new idea to go for the completed project. It's a completed project. So once the completed project, you able to show to the dashboard. Okay, you're able to show in the dashboard. Okay, so in dashboard actually, you have a compilation of the project okay the compilation of the project so basically here maybe you can go for the project in progress okay so all these are uh, customizes okay you can customize all these things okay you customize all these things so you can have uh, the number of the project in the progress at each location maybe you have the project progress project by methodology and then you have the column basis something like you can have the uh, when this project is start the health of the project okay and then to review to do date all this is uh, once you 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 compete uh, on this tools okay something like this one it's a management so in the project today, you need to include all these uh, the project charter in the uh, in the management section, okay, section must be include all this if let's say you want to see in this dashboard. Okay, so Minute Engage will grab uh, all that data from the uh, mini, uh, sorry, from the uh, management engage all this. Okay, and then you notify or not uh, SB the Sarah. Sarah is a user. Okay, just now we showed we have the ID submitter, you have free user, we have the admin, we have the data capture. So if you have a BI user, you are able to see here is a dashboard, you have the workflow, and then you can see the project. Okay, workflow, and then you can see have project. Okay, we are the user. But if let's say you want to customize, you don't want the dashboard like this one. Okay, you don't want dashboard like this one. And then you don't want also this uh, project charter like this form. Okay, you, have want, you want to put your, your logo company or you want to put another, uh, another item in this form. Okay, or you already have your, uh, you have already have your form but you need to transform into this uh, form so you can customize. But let's say you are the uh, user, you're not able to see. So I need to log out as a data architecture. Okay, I log in as a data architecture. Okay. Okay. So I be a now a data architecture. Okay, so once I be a data architecture, you can see that we have something like dashboard. Okay, just now we see a uh, workflow. Okay, we have the project uh, for the user, but for the 
data architecture, you have design and then you have that setting. So design is here is something like uh, you can create the sandbox you know, to, uh, to update or data fail. Or data fail means that this one, okay? This, okay, the, we call it the data fail, okay? And then you can edit the public report and then you can uh, configure the workflow. You're not, not like that one just now. Maybe you want to put another steering committee and so on. So you need to create the sandbox here and then you, uh, they will prepare the sandbox and then you can customize all that thing, okay, with your preference, okay. So they will customize to you. Or this one. I will try. We open the sandbox first. I will try with the steering committee. I not not put only one. Maybe you can put more than one. A steering committee unit put more than two for the phases of the methodology. Okay. So you need to put more than one uh, requirement field. Okay. You maybe you not only you not on not only look on the costing. Maybe you look on the how many days uh, about the timing or so on, so you can customize. Okay, so I go further enter the same box. Okay, so in here is a data field, uh, template. Okay, template. Template uh, we showed just now is project charter is something that one okay for OIT notification okay so we want to notify how many days so you you can customize so to customize it so you just uh, click on the uh, pencil icon here open icon so you can see on this one when you want to notify uh, you want to add notification how many days after the due day or before due day and so on so we, you able to do this one so for example yeah i go back to the workflow okay so in the workflow you have the methodology for just now i will use the basic methodology so maybe you have your own methodology and then you want to customize it here okay so maybe you have the workflow not the only two maybe you want to add another pages okay and then maybe you put here is the audit this one it's a base, base of how they and they review. So what can be a review? Not only one, maybe more than one. So if let's say you put more than one, so all this uh, review must be reviewed first before they go for the another stage or another basis. So I think do we during we do the process improvement or project, uh, you have a, a many, many person in, in charge on that, okay? So maybe from the marketing side, from the technical side, maybe from the sales side. So, so all these things, you can uh, have this. And then you can require the fail. So you maybe you want to a project summary or from the project summary, what do you can look on the benefit score or maybe business cases or business unit and so on. So you can put on this one and then you can save it. Okay, you can save. Okay. You can save and then here, maybe you want to the, select the idea form. Maybe you want to edit the steering committee. Okay, for this case, I put the steering committee by the department. Okay, so if let's say you, you here. Okay. okay, so you can see here is the idea form. Okay. Submit the idea from okay. okay. In the idea form, I put the uh, department, the other, the uh, engage will uh, assign the steering committee. So if let's say you don't want by department, maybe you want the location, so you put the location here or something others uh, item you need to put it for this one. So once you include the department, for example, for this case, I put in department QA. So Sarah, we are the uh, steering committee. We are to evaluate the, this, 
Okay, so maybe if let's say this idea is for marketing, so Lily will be our steering committee. So all this one, you are as a data architecture assigned to me. Okay, assigned to this one. So you certify all this. Okay, you can add this one also. And then you can publish changes. Okay, once you publish the changes as a data architecture, all the user will effect on this thing. Okay, not only you. Okay, not the only you. So you publish the changes. So all these changes are available for all the uh, subscription or the user of this subscription. Okay. So that's why we suggest that the data architecture not be all the one be our data architecture. For those are uh, something like uh, the maybe IT department. Uh, so it be other data architecture. So for those are running the project, maybe I'll be a user. And then for those are monitoring or coaching, maybe be other admin. Okay. So admin, you can subscribe. Be a, this one is a user. This one is idea submitter and so on. So must be clear part for the user before you get further for this engage. Okay, they will take some time to see. Okay, maybe. Okay, so if let's say you have a question, let me know. Uh, you can type in the Q&A session or chat box. So hopefully you can have some idea what is the English. Okay, so I think that's all for the English. So if let's say you have a question on this English, so you can type in the question Q&A or in the chat box. So I just remind you back. So from this one, how the English works. So from the idea, we are the idea submitter. So uh, whatever your roles inside your company, maybe you have an idea to improve or to have an innovative uh, uh, project. So you can put the idea, maybe something like uh, currently, in the company, we're using the suggestion box or something like one. So now you can able to see in the English, we call it the idea submitter. So once you, I, you submit your idea uh, and then we have the steering committee to evaluate the idea and then steering committee to uh, assign the methodology or assign the who are be uh, the process owner, who are be the review board, and so on. So during the evaluate and after uh, the steering committee evaluate the project, uh, this idea is a good one. So move to the execute the project. So once execute the project, the person in charge is something like pro uh, process owner. So your engineer, something that one. So engineer will put in the, for example, for the plan do, uh, for the plan phases, maybe they have uh, something, fish pond diagram, maybe have the process map to find out more on this one. After finish for every phases of this uh, stages, uh, 
the review board need to review before the process owner go for the another stage of the uh, another spaces of the project itself. So after finish all the project completed, so you able to see the summarize of the project in the dashboard. So in the dashboard, actually, you able to um, see the dashboard. Okay, in the dashboard, actually, you can save it. Okay, as a PDF file. Okay, you can say, uh, you can copy, uh, copy report. You can print as the PDF file. Okay, you can, uh, delete the project and so on. Because in the dashboard, as you can be, uh, something like you can, uh, create another dashboard maybe for the my project only. Okay, so maybe different item in the my project. Okay, so in the dashboard app, you can able to see, uh, graph, uh bar chart or pie chart or something that one so you're able to see maybe you can dashboard overview so you can overview all this okay you can have the costing okay about the costing you can see on this one so how many saving how many uh hard saving uh, soft saving so you can monitor or review all the uh, project in one uh, tools Okay, maybe before this, your form or that thing, you have a different different folder. You need to uh, save it. For, but for this case, you can go for the project. Okay, you can save all this project available in this uh, cloud. Okay, so who are you? Maybe you are a reviewer. Uh, maybe you are the engineer. So you can access the project file. Okay. So if you have, have okay, so I will send this uh, uh I will send this PowerPoint, okay. Okay, good, good question. Can add additional function like for idea we receive and we can reward point for the employee to collect a rhythm specific token so this one is unique customized on the form idea okay you able to do it okay in this uh, idea form so in that idea form maybe you can put another uh, data field here and then you need to uh, customize all this one so maybe from the data field here so you can appear all these things in the dashboard so you can able to uh, back uh, to track uh, back in this dashboard so all this one is customized okay hopefully i answer your question okay any other question So maybe engage is not involved the uh, analysis part, but uh, part of the engage have analysis. Okay, so this one is a project more to project side. So just now, if let's say you want to put the criteria, you can go for just now I show you need to go go for design and then go for the idea form and then put the new fail. Okay, so you put the new fill and then you can get this one. Okay, can we generate project idea from VSM using the English? Okay, so I'm not so clear your, your question. Okay, maybe project idea from using okay okay so for those are familiar with uh know about the workspace okay if let's say you're looking for something like tools only or template only so maybe you can go for the workspace so for this uh engage is a good one because they have a workflow who are the be uh, run the project or be uh, the review the project. I think in the company side, we want that kind of the uh, task. Okay, so for this case, if you want to evaluate, uh, 
if one more about the ideas uh, or about item on this dashboard, maybe you can look back to your form. Okay, this one is a basic form. We are provide after you 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 join this okay or you install this uh, try uh, engage for your information you able to try uh, this uh, engage okay for the 30 days okay so how to get it maybe you go for the mini tab okay mini tab and then you go for the product is to engage okay so engage and then start your fryer trial okay your free trial for 30 days i think you 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 try install and then try try this function okay so maybe i will maybe i will email to you um, for more further on this uh, question and then another question that does is come with multiple user license? Is there any promo <laughs> promo price? Okay, I think this this question I, I will send to our clicks for the salesperson because I'm not the, the best person to to answer this question. So I will email to you after this. Okay, I will share with the other colleagues. But for the cotton arumuga, maybe you can. Uh, I will email to you to explain more about this uh, equation. I'm not so clear about this. Okay, other question? So hopefully, hopefully you <laughs> will try your, this version, okay? Once maybe you, after you try it, you can see the, the, the benefit why Minitech provide this uh, Minitech English, okay? Any other question? So if let say you have uh, other question like a mini tech certificate software, also others, so you let let me know. Okay, I will email after this. If let's say not related with this webinar today. <laughs>